Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hey everyone, and welcome if you are new. Today we have something very different. I am here with a special guest that I will introduce you to in a moment. I want to let you know that as someone who's coming to visit us, we are in COVID times. We have taken all the safety precautions here to visit, took that into consideration, tests. I was very lucky that this friend could come up here take the time to do all that we get to hang out for a couple days and see each other because social engagement is important and in the video today we are doing a truth or drink or a date or shot it whatever it's called just to have a little fun break it up we are well past <laughs> the legal drinking age not shotting it because the game is truth or drink see what i did there i'm sneaky and <laughs> we're just gonna sip on uh, a couple beers and uh, take it that way because we're not 23 anymore. It's a little different when you're over 30 and that's okay. Time to introduce you to one of my closest friends, someone I've known for a good long while. It is Mike. This is one of my greatest friends. Very lucky he's here. Very lucky we're gonna do this. She called me special. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into truth or drink. Oh, I should explain the rules. Don't I almost just was not going to tell you what we're doing. Truth or drink. Very simple. Ask a question. We're both going to answer that question. If we don't want to answer that question, which is okay because the internet doesn't need to know everything about everyone, then we take a sip of our beverage. First of all, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. If you could go back in time and erase one thing you said or did, what would it be? One thing? One thing to rule them all and in, sorry, and in the darkness find them. There was a moment where we were at a party in the Tweedledee and Tweedledum's apartment. Okay, yes. <laughs> and you know how parties there are those like rays and lulls and like conversation. Oh, I know exactly <laughs> what you're gonna say. Well, the entire party goes silent and I'm intoxicated. <laughs> you? And no. I was talking with this really cute girl and in that moment, that lull of a party, mm -hmm. silent, I said, I don't think there's anything I don't like about you. Entire group of like 15, 20 <laughs> people heard the whole thing. It was classic. This is a little deeper. I would say probably growing up and in my ignorance, saying things that offended people, things that I sort of remember, like singing a rap song, singing words that I shouldn't have sung. Those moments are probably, honestly, something I do regret. Uh, because I was ignorant. What is one thing you'll never do again? Oh. See, like off the bat, I'm thinking skiing, but I don't want to say never. Okay. Skating? Maybe roller skating. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> no, because you know what? I would get back on roller skates. I'm trying to think of something that's mm. awful, that I hated, that I never want to do again. Even though it might happen in my life, to be honest, fully honest, I never want to drink those punch bowl drinks you get at like a Hawaiian themed drink place. Like I could stand to never see one of those again in my entire life. You come at me with that bowl and six straws, I'm going the other way. <laughs> We've done theater together and uh, that's kind of how we know each other. Something I would never like, do again, theater. <laughs> you are a liar. You oh, drink 100%. for that. <laughs> I would never try and drunkenly do lifts at a house party on New Year's. Especially now that we're no longer made of rubber. Oh yeah. 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 What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever been caught doing? I feel like I should take a drink for this. Okay, that's fair. I'm trying to think of what is really embarrassing I've been caught doing. I think we drank on that because we just don't really have any shame about anything. Like, I'm not really embarrassed. What movie or TV character do I most remind you of? Is a book character? Not really a TV character. Not, and not that you fully remind me of this. Holden will always be someone who comes to mind. If you don't know what that reference, so this little tiny book called Catcher in the Rye, TV or movie character. Two people, forever and always, you will be Lucas to me. Uh, if you have not watched One Tree Hill, get your life together. I'm a One Tree Hill stan forever and ever. I watch that and I made Mikey watch it at some point when we were best friends living together. There are two people, there's Haley and Lucas and they remain best friends throughout the whole show. Lucas is a uh, very like emotional, he is kind of broody, he is complex, but a very kind person <laughs> for the most part. I will also say, I think for someone out there, you have a makings of a Lloyd Dobler in you. 
which is a, is a pretty big compliment in the world of, of characters. You know, you're a little awkward. You're a little. <laughs> Move on. You also are very kind, but you're not going to be overbearing. But yeah, you're welcome. But I think you'd be like a mix. So we're about to have a really cute moment because I have someone perfect in mind for you. Okay, I'm ready. It's from One Tree Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Haley. Haley, it is true. Um, you're so nice and thoughtful and you're just, uh, you're smart, but you know who you are and you're true to that. And she, that's very much who her character is yeah. throughout this entire thing. You know, she's a rock. I still can't get over the like Doppler thing. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Uh, but it's true. I do think you have a bit of makings of that. What do you think it would be like if we switched bodies for a week. Well, I'd be really annoyed because I'd be crippled again. <laughs> That's fair. You would be very crippled at this very moment. <laughs> for, um, and for the rest of the week. Wouldn't be okay with that. Okay, but outside of that, just yeah. in general, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with my hair. <laughs> takes a lot of work. I, now, even though I do as minimal work as possible, it still takes a lot of work. Do you do things to your hair? Okay, yeah, okay, that, that answers that question. You wanna know what gets me about this? Switching bodies with someone, your digestive system, because it's so specific to all of us. You'd I... gain 15 pounds if I switched bodies. <laughs> That's, that is a fact, 100%. This boy eats whatever he wants. That's okay. No shame in your, in your eat game. That sounds weird. But see, now here's the question. If we switch bodies, would you hear how you think in my, like in your voice, Oh, or would you like think... the internal monologue? Yeah. I, I like my internal monologue. <laughs> it goes on and on and on and on. Doesn't Don't we know? Stop. <laughs> this is a, a bit of a loaded one. Have you ever disliked any of my partners? Or a better, shorter answer. Have you ever liked any of my partners? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. I have liked some of your partners and yes have disliked some of your partners. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go into detail. I did say I had to say the details. There was no details mentioned, but that is a cop out, I know. One f***ing guy. Always hydrate, friends. What were your first impressions of the other person? My first like vivid memory of you uh -huh. is we were outside of in the hallway there, and I can't remember what we were talking about exactly, but I remember right then and right there, I'm like, she's gonna be my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. No. You were, what was your first show? Mackinac, which is a show, right? We're theater people. Okay, just so Mocky I Wall. <laughs> Mocky Wall is what we called it because there was a set piece that was a wall. It was a whole thing. I remember you working on that show and for some reason you came to the scene shop, needed something, and then we ended up talking and chatting. And I remember I was like, this guy seems pretty cool. We talked maybe, I don't know, a handful of times before that and how sheltered you were as a human oh coming from God. a smaller town. And now we are far past any <laughs> bit of shelter. So that's good in a way. <laughs> what is something you completely changed your mind about once you tried it? Sushi. A hundred percent sushi. Um, okay, rolls or sashimi? Actual sushi is just the rice and fish on top. Mm-hmm, both. Yeah, you like it all? Uh, sashimi. Sometimes, depends I on the fish. I didn't like it till San Francisco though. I mean, you could fish. Grok, I was underneath it. A hundred percent. I, the idea of raw fish, yeah. especially because I wasn't huge on fish in general. Like, I like salmon, I like talbot if it was prepared right. Mm. Um, I tried uh, fresh caught trout, but mm. it wasn't like, oh, no, no, no. Give yeah. it to me. As soon as I tried it, I I love sushi. In the comments below, leave your favorite sushi restaurant. Oh yeah, that's good. Anywhere, wherever you live. I would say beer and wine. I don't know if that's just because I was oh. getting older, mm -hmm. which is a part of it because something you see a lot in the progression of people who usually uh, enjoy an uh, alcoholic beverage every once in a while is when you're in your 20s, you drink a lot of sugar and you drink a lot of hard liquor. And then as you get older, you tend to not drink maybe like you did in your 20s. Then you want a little more quality, I would say. Quality over quantity. The other thing I've changed my mind about is tequila. You like it? No, I used to love like it. it. You have and that then, one night and it really just ruins you. Oh, 
I like it sometimes, but... I can't even smell it. Not like I used to. How much money would someone have to offer you to never talk to me again? That's a lot of money. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking He's like, like five bucks. <laughs> no. I honestly don't think I would... I wouldn't take the deal. Not even life-changing money? Not even life-changing money. It's not worth a friendship. Mikey's like, oh, he should. <laughs> I have to answer this question now. <laughs> I'm gonna drink. <laughs> I think I'd take nine figures. That's a billion fair. dollars. I'd hire someone <laughs> to talk <laughs> to them and they talk to you. <laughs> Perfect. And I'd probably give you like half. Wow. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I'm okay with you not talking to me anymore. Because you're good. Nine figures is a lot, a lot of money. money. <laughs> That's true. But here's the thing. Who the heck is paying us to not talk to each other anymore? There's what a list illegal of three letter agencies that I could go to. What's the worst first date you've been on? Met this girl in my communications class back freshman year. We had some in common, uh, but we ended up going to the mission way back in the day, and uh -huh. we ended up going to a used bookstore. What she happened? left to go smoke with a guy in the 24th Street Art Station. Just and then never came back. Like, I sat there for like 30 minutes waiting for her. That is bad. Wow. Wow. There was no second date. Uh, mine was the first date I went on off of OkCupid. I was talking to this guy probably for two weeks, three weeks maybe, going back and forth, like send each other selfies to be like, you know, we are who we are, you know, that internet dating game when you want to make sure the person isn't some other creepy catfishy person. Seemed really nice, really sweet. And so we decided to go to a park and go for a walk, um, a park that is very populated so that, you know, I'm not <laughs> left alone with anybody because I'm not trying to die on a date. We meet up and I show up and I'm expecting someone who looks a little different than who I meet. And it wasn't a catfish. What it was is this person was using pictures from probably four years before I met them. And in those, they were very lean and trim. And I show up and there's a person who is much bigger. Now here's the thing, I have no problem with that. The problem was that they never really told me. They were clearly trying to hide it. And they were dishonest. They were dishonest. And that was my big issue is I showed up to go on the stay with you and possibly open up to a relationship and you show and you show up and you didn't tell me a big part of who you are, which is something that clearly he, he was probably struggling through. Tried to hide it in the selfies he took and uh, it was the worst date. Even though we had a nice conversation the whole time, I was just like, I can't believe you lied to me <laughs> in my head. What is the weirdest gift someone has ever oh, given yeah. you? Thinking about a white elephant gift I got. Oh, a single shoe. Not not a pair of shoes. It was a single brand new shoe. That is weird. I don't know. I don't think it's that weird though. I get it might be weird, but in a white elephant, I got poopery. But I don't think that's weird. It's so con it's so great to have because sticky poops are eliminated. Wrong. It's not the shoe. Okay. Oh, no, it's I not. I thought it was the shoe. All right, my bad. Weirdest gift I ever got was a watch. And the watch itself wasn't what made it weird is the context of this. Hmm. She was a regular at my parents' bar. And this was, it was when I broke myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like two weeks after that. Mm -hmm. uh, she had known I was in town. And I guess she got me a really nice watch. But the thing is, this is someone who was my mom's age and a regular, right? Interesting. And she gave me a watch. I've never gotten a gift from her previously or since, but she gave me a watch. That is weird. Those out of nowhere gifts really get you sometimes, huh? Have you ever done anything illegal? I mean, yes. Extremely illegal? <laughs> just, just a little okay, bit okay. illegal. Got a speeding ticket once in my life. It's happened. I used to have some like road rage. My early 20s, it was bad. But now I'm a granny when I drive and it's great. I'm trying to think about what I've done that's illegal besides breaking the speed limit. Have you ever done anything illegal? My lawyers have advised me that I should plead the fifth. <laughs> of course they have. Have you ever dated a friend's ex? Have you ever wanted to? 
Guess that answers that question. As who I am now, no. But there were points where I definitely wanted to, but it was before they were dating a friend that I have now. Have you ever broken any bones? What happened? Did you hear the crack? If you want to know how I broke my leg, which it's currently broken. If you didn't know that, that's why we're talking about how I'm crippled because currently, temporarily, I uh, am in a cast. You can watch the videos linked here and down in the description box if you're interested in that story. I'm not going to tell you the whole story, but I will answer, did you hear a crack? Yes. When I went down, I didn't hear a crack. I heard a snap. I mean, I, and when I heard that snap, I knew and I just hoped it was not my tibia and it wasn't. So, Did you hear the crack? I really want, that's the question I want to know from you. Kind of, but I wasn't aware at the time that it was the crack because mm. I had just hit so hard and I, I'm pretty sure I lost about like... 10 to 15 seconds of consciousness. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. It starts getting fuzzy, yeah. right? Real quick. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, big event in my life. Uh, I broke my pelvis, uh, my left arm, and one of my ribs about five years ago. If I were a chain restaurant, which one would I be? It. I think it would have to be a small local chain somewhere like Izzy's is coming to mind mm. because they're sort of classy but also catered to some of the rough and ready but very high quality food mm. but lots of choices small local yeah Izzy's Izzy's steak and chops I accept that answer I would say maybe you're a senores Ooh, I, I could be a senores senores is a chain in in the bay area they're a great chain in yeah. the Bay Area. Really good pizza that's in the Bay. For like late night, something that A has a lot of nostalgia and you, I think have a lot of nostalgia and that's connected to the city. But also like, so that makes sense. The food is good and uh, dependable. I think, I think you'd be a senior, which are both very specific to the Bay Area. But that's where we spend a lot of our time. I, I could accept senores. Well, thanks for hanging out and answering a lot of questions. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for the beer and laughs and the good times and letting me have story time and you know. Anytime, anytime. Please subscribe, become part of the Questing family. Like this video if you like it, you had a good time and hit the notification bell and turn it to all so that you know every Friday when a, vi a video appears here on the internet from me. Register to vote. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. I hope you're doing well and please wear a mask. Please wash your hands Please take care of yourself and check in on others because it's really important right now in this wild time of the world And I'll see you on the next one I really do hope you enjoyed this truth or drink slash Q&A with my best friend Clearly we had a good time very very cool human very lucky that he is in my life So hopefully you enjoyed here. We are with Thanksgiving upon us in less than a week whoa kind of crazy to think about in 2020 i've been reflecting a lot since we record this on how i'm very thankful for a lot and i'd love to hear what you're thankful for so drop that down below take care of yourself this holiday season if you need any help you're feeling some type of way and you need to reach out to a more professional help as always in my description box there are hotlines linked below please go check those out this year i know might be one of the harder holiday seasons, you know, we are taking it very seriously. I don't want you to think my best friend being here, we were just haha -ha, whatever and we pretended for the camera. No, no one has gotten infected because we were so serious about that interaction and that happening with him coming to visit. Over the eight months of COVID, truly we have only seen a handful of people and the people I've needed to see because I broke my leg and that is it. It is worth it to protect the people we love and to protect the people we don't even know out there and their families as well. So please, please, please do all you can to prevent COVID and follow the guidelines. Maybe do a virtual thing for Thanksgiving this year. We don't wanna be in this pandemic, but here we are and we, we gotta keep each other safe. I do want to mention real quick what I'm thankful for. Of course, friends and family, which are one the same to me, and I'm so lucky I have them, and so lucky that we are all taking this seriously. To me, that is probably one of the things I feel most fortunate for this year. Along with that, I am just so thankful that I have had a place to be creative all year and make videos, create a whole community here, and I'm thankful for that community and you guys showing up and you being here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please take care of yourself. 
please check in on people. I don't want to leave this video so serious. Please enjoy the bloopers. We're gonna do spooky stories right right here to register to vote. <laughs> register to vote. <laughs> You're working out in the middle of my video? Cool. Thanks, bro. I don't want to itch to do loose your virginity. 72. I have it yet. <laughs> vividly remembering and thinking and uh, remembering. Uh, vividly think remember. <laughs> We're gonna have a breakdown <laughs> right here. What? What was, we answered the question? Did what we was, both answer the question? What was it? I don't remember. No, not this is my question. Oh, right. No, this is the question we were answering. <laughs> if you had to fight one person in the room, who would you choose? <laughs> well, right now it's you, because I could just punch you and run away. <laughs> it's true. Or go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. I was like, why? I could defend myself, and I was like, oh yeah, I have a broken leg. 